Hello everyone. Namaste. My name is Yulia and welcome to my yoga channel. Today I invite you to a middle tempo stretchy practice today. We are going to pay more attention to our hip, hips, to our hip joints and to our shoulders. Um, this practice is going to be rather static, so we are going to be holding positions for a few breaths. Now, static doesn't mean easy, actually, quite otherwise, it can be pretty challenging, not only for our muscles, for our bodies, because muscles have to have a special kind of resilience in order to be able to hold positions but also for our minds because in our modern world of very short attention span the mind may start telling you like oh come on when are we going to do something different if that happens so if the mind starts getting grumpy and just want to leave it instead of fighting with yourself i would rather suggest that you gently observe why is it so um, why is it so scary to be present why is it so scary to be in the present moment and to return your attention to your bodily sensations or your breath. So I hope we can use this time wisely to become a bit more present. And let's begin. We are going to begin laying today. So come laying on your mat, take your thighs, roll your back, on your yoga mat, place your the back of your head on the floor and if you feel comfortable you can bring the soils of your feet together like we are doing that in a butterfly pose or you can just keep your knees upright. Find the position that is comfortable for your body today Place one hand on your lower belly and one hand on your chest. Relax your head, relax your forehead, eyes, jaw, neck, shoulders. Relax your chest, your belly, feel how with this relaxation, knees may be falling down, maybe hips are relaxing as well. Relax your shoulders, arms, hands, your back, your hips, your pelvic floor. Relax your inner thighs, knees, shins, and feet. Take five big, deep breaths, starting with your belly. Let your belly expand on an inhale. Then let the air fill up your lungs. And with an exhale, release the air from your head, your lungs, your belly.
Feel your hands move up and down as you inhale and exhale. Feel how with every exhale you become a bit more present. A bit more relaxed. A bit more at ease with what is. Think about your intention for this practice, where the energy will be directed. Open your eyes, help yourself, bring your knees together and lift your legs bring your knees to your chest start making slow circles with your knees one direction another direction now outwards inwards Stretch your legs, stretch your arms, roll to your right side, help yourself with your hands and come to standing on your knees and your hands. Lift up your left leg and make a few big circles in your hip. Change directions. Place your right knee back on the yoga mat. Lift your left leg and make some circles with your left hip. Good now. Now other direction. Place your left knee near the right one. Stretch your right, uh, left hand forward, rotate your shoulder open and bring your right shoulder on the floor, on the yoga mat, bring your head on the floor as well. And if you feel stable here, you may bring your left palm and take your right hip here. Breathe into your shoulder. Breathe into your spine, head. Unlock yourself. Bring your left palm to the floor. Bring your right palm up. We are making one little twist here. And bring your right palm back under the shoulder and a little bit forward now now your left shoulder comes to the floor we look to the right we let our left ear sink to the floor and maybe take the left hip with your right hand try to all the time open your shoulder Stretch your right arm, bring it back, and we are making one little twist here, unrolling our back, and bringing our both palms to the floor. Rotate your shoulders open, tuck your toes under, and shift your hips up and back. Let your feet be somewhere 
around hip width apart. If your heels don't come down to the floor, that's not a big deal at all. Try to reach the ceiling with your tailbone. And I promise you one day your heels will sink down. Spread your sitting bones. Make sure your lower back is nice and long. Rotate your shoulders open. Push away from the floor with your hands. Let all the weight come to the feet. Lift your right leg up and try not to open your hips, but rather keep them straight. Anza, my cat is very excited as usual. Have a look at all your toes and make sure they are all facing down. Take one more deep breath here. Reach, reach, reach with your right heel to the floor to the ceiling and on an exhale bring your knee to your chest and then bring your right foot forward between your legs let your left knee rest on the yoga mat and bring both your palms inside your right leg open your chest let your shoulder blades push the chest forward and here very actively we try to bring the mat with the hands to ourselves. So instead of sinking or hanging and waiting, we are actually all the time trying to open our shoulders, open our chest. We try to push our lower back forward, look forward. Keep your neck relaxed. Close your eyes, bring your attention to your hip zone. Let your attention go first to your left hip. Observe what's happening there. Ilias, quadriceps. Bring your attention to your right hip. If you feel comfortable here, maybe bring your elbows down. Try to keep your back as straight as, for, as possible. Breathe into those areas where you feel the tension, the stretch. With every exhale, become a little more softer. Come deeper into your body. Lift yourself up. Bring both your palms to the floor and now, if possible, rotate your right feet to the right. Let your left palm stay on the floor and we rotate to oops, it forward, following our right hand to the back. Make sure that your right foot is parallel to the beginning of the mat. Feel the stretch in your right sitting knee, in your right hip. Open your chest, let your shoulders help you and push your chest a bit more forward. If you feel comfortable, you can place your fingertips on the floor.
bring your right arm back bring both your palms on one level tuck your left toes under and shift your right leg backwards come to downward facing dog close your eyes here dive deep into your sensations Follow your breath. Bring your attention to the right hip joint. To the left hip joint. Compare them. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up. Pause here. Try to direct all your toes to the floor. So instead of rotating them to the left, rather rotate them down. Try to keep your shoulders on one line. One more big inhale, reach with your left heel to the ceiling. And on an exhale, bring your left knee first to the chest and then between your palms. Slide with your right toes backwards, bring your right knee to the floor, bring your left hand to the inside of your left foot, rotate your shoulders open. Push a little bit your left hip backwards to the back, your right hip to the front. Open your chest, keep your back straight. Let your body become full with your attention. Let your attention feel your left feet, calf, knee, hip. If you feel ready, bring your elbows to the yoga mat. Let your attention feel your right foot, calf, knee, thigh, your hips, your back. Let your attention push your chest a bit more to the front. Fill up your arms with your own attention, neck and face. Relax your face. Lift your chest back up. Make one little step with your right hand forward. Open your left foot to the left so that it's parallel to the beginning of the yoga mat and reach with your left hand to the back. Open your chest. Notice what's happening. If you feel comfortable, you can place your fingertips on the floor, roll your shoulders open and open your heart a bit more. Bring your left hand back 
to the yoga mat, tap your right toes and shift your left leg backwards, come to downward facing dog. Rotate here, your shoulders open, your, necks is, your neck is nice and relaxed. Your back is wide. We try to bring our belly to the thighs. Activate your quadriceps if your legs are straight. And bring your knees to the yoga mat. Sing your hips to your heels. Bring your right hand in front of you, the elbow is 90 degrees. Bring your left arm around the right one and we try to bring our thumbs together. If the thumbs don't touch, it's not a big deal. Just do it as much as you can. Activate your navel point. Bring it inside. And here we try to shift our elbows forward, reach with your elbows forward. Notice your shoulders, notice your shoulder blades. Breathe into these parts, unwind your arms, maybe shake them a little bit. Bring your left elbow right in front of you and now we put our right elbow lower than the left one and we try to bring the thumbs together. When we feel comfortable, we start to reach with the elbows to the front. You will feel a really nice stretch that goes almost to the crown of your head. Relax your shoulders. With an exhale, stay here. Unwind your hands, your arms, shake them a bit. Cross your shins, bring them forward. Find your sitting bones. Remember that this, that the forward fall always happens in our hip, in our hips. Straighten your spine, bring your arms up. And on the next exhale, bring your arms down. You can just place them on both sides of your feet. Try not to stretch yourself right now, just let your back relax. Let your shoulders relax. Let your neck relax. You can take your feet if you can. Stretch your spine one more time. 
make sure that your belly is in contact with your thighs if it's not bend your knees a bit Lift your chest, lift your head, bring your arms up, stretch your spine, bring your hands behind your hips, place both your feet on the floor, lift your hips here, we are just going to make this little compensation for our lower back, and place your hips to the floor. Shift a bit on the yoga mat, take your thighs, roll your back. As a dessert today, we are having uh, Urdhva Khanurasana or Chakrasana or Bridge Pose. So, place your feet as close as possible to your hips. Bring your hands as close as possible to your shoulders. And remember to always push the weight to your hands, not to your feet, not bending our lower back, but rather all the time consciously opening our chest and shifting the weight to the front. Breathe deep here. And slowly and slowly with control, place your shoulder blades Place your back and your hips to the floor. Spread your arms. We are going to make a gentle twist to the right with our knees. Look to the left. Bring your knees back up. Shift them to the left, look to the right. Bring your knees back up. Stretch your legs. Bring your arms on both sides of your body, palms facing upwards. Take one deep inhale here, deep exhale. Bring your attention to your hips. Feel freedom, lightness in your hip joints. Bring your attention to your shoulders. Feel the freedom in your shoulders. Bring your attention to your feet and breathe in through your feet. Breathe the energy of relaxation, feeling up your feet, your legs. The energy of relaxation fills up 
your hips, your belly, chest and back. Relaxation goes into your shoulders, arms and hands. The energy of relaxation fills up your neck, your throat, your face, your head and exits your body through the crown of your head. There's nothing to worry about. Feel your body become transparent, relaxed, at peace. Slowly start coming back, move your toes, move your fingers, stretch your arms over your head, stretch your legs, mm. roll over to the right side and come to sitting. Stretch your spine, reach with the crown of your head to the ceiling, take this time to thank yourself for finding this time. Thank your body, your mind, your emotions. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. That was our practice for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't be shy and tell me how it was for you personally today. Um, right? It would be really great if you share this video with your friends, your family and see you next time. Now the practices come out on Mondays, so see you next Monday and have a great week. Namaste.